Welcome back, Flare community. I would first like to say thank you to all those who have watched my previous video and provided feedback on how I can improve my content. You may now notice a clear audio in this video as a result. I want you to know that I'm dedicated to consistently providing information surrounding the Flare network in the best way possible. I appreciate all the support so far and if you would like a free way to support the channel, then please consider giving the video a like. With that being said, let's jump in. This video is created with the sole purpose of answering some of the most common questions I receive via Twitter. I hope to clear up some of the misconceptions that many people have and bring clarity to all those who seek it. If you have additional questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. And if I'm able, I will provide the answers there. Question one, can I add more XRP after the snapshot to get more spark? In a nutshell, no. But to fully understand the answer, we first need to define and understand what the flare snapshot actually was. The snapshot represented a single moment in time in which all wallets and their contents on the XRP ledger were recorded. The sum of all these wallets amounted to all the XRP in existence. This allows for an equal distribution of the Spark token proportional to the amount of XRP you were holding at that specific time. The XRP you held during the snapshot is used to calculate your Spark allocation it does not matter if you bought XRP 10 seconds before or sold everything 10 seconds later. Your allocation is derived from the exact moment of this snapshot, which is the first ledger close on the 12th of December 2020. Question 2. When do I receive my Spark tokens? The airdrop starts upon the launch of the Flare network itself. Although no specific details have been announced, we have the vague estimate of between quarter one and quarter two of this year. On a side note, I received an email from Bitru stating that the network could be launching around April, but this has not been confirmed by official sources as of yet. Question three. Spark is already trading on the open market. How is this possible? As the Flare network is not yet live, there are no Spark currently in existence. What you are witnessing is the trading of an IOU, a representation of Spark, which will be later redeemed for the real thing. The Spark IOU is currently trading on Bitru Exchange Check the link in the description to receive free XRP when you register and simultaneously support the channel. Question 4. Is it too late to claim my Spark tokens? If you were holding XRP on a hardware wallet such as a Ledger or a Trezor at the time of the snapshot, you have up to 6 months after the snapshot was taken to make your claim. Otherwise, your allocated Spark tokens will be burnt. Question 5. How are the Spark tokens distributed? Regardless of if you had XRP on an exchange, or if you had it in cold storage, all Spark tokens will be distributed the exact same. 15% of your Spark allocation will be available upon the launch of the Flare network which, as I mentioned before, is expected between quarter one and quarter two of this year. The remaining 85% of your allowance will be distributed each month after for a period between 25 and 34 months. This equates to roughly 3% of your allocated spark each month. Question six, what is Flare Finance? I know this is a hot topic right now in the community 
However, I will refrain from going into details as I want to dedicate a full video for this topic to cover it in depth. I will, however, give you a brief summary. Flare Finance is a group of developers creating a number of decentralized finance applications on top of the Flare network. Now, let's look at a few misconceptions. XRP and Flare network are completely separate. They are two distinct networks. Flare is not built as an additional layer on top of the XRP ledger. Another misconception. Flare Network and Flare Finance are completely different. Flare Network is a decentralized network which can host applications. Flare Finance are in no way affiliated with the Flare Network other than the fact that they are building applications on top of it. You could compare Flare Network to Ethereum and Flare Finance to a company building ERC20 tokens. I hope this clears up some of the common questions you may be curious about. If you find someone asking any of these questions mentioned, please feel free to point them in the direction of this video. With that being said, I wish you all a great day and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.